In a move that shocked the tech world, OpenAI's board fired CEO Sam Altman, setting off an unprecedented chain of events. We dive into the details of this astounding and brain-busting decision that might end with the complete disintegration of OpenAI, creator of ChatGPT, which is the current leader in generative AI. The OpenAI board fired Sam Altman on Friday afternoon on 17th of November at 3.28 p.m., appointing CTO Mira Murati as temporary CEO effective immediately. Greg Brockman, Altman's old friend and ally, was also removed as chairman of the board, but the board said he would stay on as president. In response, he quit. They did so over Google Meet and did not include then-chairman Greg Brockman, the board told almost no one. Microsoft got one minute of warning. Mira Moradi is the only other person who knew, and she was told on Thursday night. From the announcement by the board, Mr. Altman's departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. The board no longer has confidence in his ability to continue leading open AI. The phrase, not consistently candid, is legalese speak for lying to the board. Let's take a step back and take a closer look at open AI's board of directors. At this point, it consists of open AI chief scientist Ilya Sutskever. Independent Director, Quora CEO, Adam D'Angelo, Technology Entrepreneur, Tasha McCauley, and Georgetown Center for Security and Emerging Technologies, Helen Toner. Prior to the firing, Greg Brockman was the chairman of the board. He was left out of this entire decision. In a statement, the board of directors said, OpenAI was deliberately structured to advance our mission, to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all humanity. The board remains fully committed to serving this mission. We are grateful for Sam's many contributions to the founding and growth of OpenAI. At the same time, we believe new leadership is necessary as we move forward. As the leader of the company's research, product, and safety functions, Mira is exceptionally qualified to step into the role of interim CEO. We have the utmost confidence in her ability to lead open AI during this transition period. In response to many calling this a board coup, Suskever responded to the allegations with, You can call it this way, and I can understand why you chose this word, but I disagree with this. This was the board doing its duty to the mission of the nonprofit, which is to make sure that open AI builds AGI that benefits all of humanity. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence, a term that refers to software that can reason the way humans do. It is one of the three types of artificial intelligence, the other two being ANI, which stands for Artificial Narrow Intelligence, and ASI, which stands for Artificial Superintelligence. We have already achieved ANI. Examples are... Amazon's Alexa and Apple's Siri uses speech recognition AIs to understand spoken words. Self-driving cars, such as those built by Elon Musk's Tesla, which use vision recognition and image processing AI. Netflix and other streaming platforms, which use user data to provide tailored recommendations. Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, aims to perform intellectual tasks in the way that a human can. Also known as strong AI, AGI aims to learn and adapt to new situations, just like a person would, and not be limited to one specific task or area. Instead, it should be applied across various fields. AGI is what artificial intelligence experts are currently working towards, including open AI. Artificial superintelligence, ASI, operates beyond human-level intelligence, capable of outsmarting human beings in potentially every field of knowledge and activity. It is, however, currently a hypothetical concept because no system has yet achieved ASI. Some people framing the internal clash at OpenAI as a conflict between AI doomers, those who think safety is the most important aspect of AI because a rogue superintelligence could kill us all. If we are not careful, 
and techno-optimists and accelerationists, those who think the harm of not developing AI sooner is what we should be wary of. To them, every day that we don't have powerful superintelligence to help us is a day of unnecessary suffering for humanity. There had been various clashes between Altman and the board. We don't know what all of them were. We do know the board felt Altman was moving too quickly, without sufficient concern for safety, with too much focus on building consumer products while founding additional other companies. ChatGPT was a great consumer product, but supercharged AI development counter to OpenAI's stated nonprofit mission. Ilya Sutskever co-leads the Super Alignment Task Force, has very short timelines for when we will get AGI, and is very concerned about AI existential risk. Sam Altman said October 16th, four times in the history of OpenAI, the most recent time was in the last couple of weeks. I've gotten to be in the room when we push the veil of ignorance back and the frontier of discovery forward. Getting to do that is the professional honor of a lifetime. There was speculation that events were driven in whole or in part by secret capabilities gains within OpenAI, perhaps even related to the joking claim that AGI has been achieved internally. But we have no concrete evidence of that. Those concerned about existential risk and some others pointed out that the unique corporate structure of OpenAI was designed for exactly this situation. Sam Altman has stated time and again, including to Congress, that he takes existential risk from AI seriously. He was part of the creation of OpenAI's corporate structure. OpenAI spent six months on safety work before releasing GPT-4. He understands the stakes. One can question OpenAI's track record on safety. Many did, including those who left to found Anthropic. Another possible point of contention, Sam Altman was involved in starting multiple new major tech companies. He was looking to raise tens of billions from Saudis to start a chip company using the OpenAI name but will not fall under OpenAI's governance structure. Coming back to the firing, the board has said nothing in public. It is widely believed that, whatever the original justifications, the removal attempt was massively botched. The board clearly handled decisions and communications terribly. Either they had good reasons that justified these actions and needed to share them, or they didn't. OpenAI was previously planning an oversubscribed share sale at a valuation of $86 billion. That was to close a few weeks later. Board member Adam D'Angelo said in a Forbes in January, there's no outcome where this organization is one of the big five technology companies. This is something that's fundamentally different, and my hope is that we can do a lot more good for the world than just become another corporation that gets that big. Majority of the chatter on the platform X, original known as Twitter, including VCs, tech founder, tech enthusiasts, united to condemn the board for firing Altman and for how they did it, as did many employees, calling upon Altman to either return to the company or start a new company and steal all the talent. The prevailing view online was that no matter its corporate structure, it was unacceptable to fire Altman, who had built the company, or to endanger OpenAI's value by doing so. Great pressure was put upon the board to reinstate Altman. They were given two 5 p.m. Pacific deadlines on Saturday and Sunday to resign. Microsoft's CEO Satya Nadella was enlisted to aid the discussions. We do not know what forms of leverage Microsoft did or did not bring to that table. Ultimately, this did not succeed. Sam Altman is very good at power games, such as fights for corporate control. Over the years, he earned the loyalty of his employees, many of whom moved in lockstep. At that time, over 505 of 700 employees of OpenAI signed a letter telling the board to resign and reinstate Altman and Brockman. Sam Altman tweets, I love the OpenAI team so much. Many at OpenAI respond with hearts, including Mira Marathi. Invited by employees, including Mira Marathi and other top executives, Sam Altman visited the OpenAI offices on Sunday. 
he tweeted, first and last time I ever wear one of these, with a picture of his visitor's pass. The board does not appear to have been at the building at the time. Press reported that the board had agreed to resign in principle, but that snags were hit over who the replacement board would be and over whether or not they would need to issue a statement absolving Altman of wrongdoing, which could be legally perilous for them given their initial statement. Bloomberg reported on Sunday 11, 16 p.m. that temporary CEO Mira Murati aimed to rehire Altman and Brockman while the board sought an alternative CEO. OpenAI board hires former Twitch CEO Emmett Shear to be the new CEO. He issues his initial statement here. If the board needs to hire a new CEO from outside that takes existential risk seriously, he seems to me like a truly excellent pick. Shear's PPS in his note, before I took the job, I checked on the reasoning behind the change. The board did not remove Sam over any specific disagreement on safety. Their reasoning was completely different from that. I'm not crazy enough to take this job without board support for commercializing our awesome models. New CEO Emmett Shear has made statements in favor of slowing down AI development, although not a stop. On a scale of 10, if 10 represents full speed ahead while zero represents a pause, he would choose a speed of one or two. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella posted at 2.53 a.m. Monday morning. We remain committed to our partnership with OpenAI and have confidence in our product roadmap, our ability to continue to innovate with everything we announced at Microsoft Ignite and in continuing to support our customers and partners. We look forward to getting to know Emmett Shear and OpenAI's new leadership team and working with them. And we're extremely excited to share the news that Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, together with colleagues, will be joining Microsoft to lead a new advanced AI research team. We look forward to moving quickly to provide them with the resources needed for their success. Sam Altman retweets the above with, The mission continues, Brockman confirms. Other leaders will include Jacob Pachocki, the GPT-4 lead, Simon Sidor, and Alexander Madri. Nadella continued in reply, I'm super excited to have you join as CEO of this new group, Sam, setting a new pace for innovation. We've learned a lot over the years about how to give founders and innovators space to build independent identities and cultures within Microsoft, including GitHub, Mojang Studios, and LinkedIn, and I'm looking forward to having you do the same. It seems that Microsoft might end up as the net winner of this entire fiasco. Based on the latest chatter, over 700 out of 76 full-time employees, including Ilya Sketskever, have signed the letter threatening to quit and join Microsoft. If this happens, instead of paying billions to own a majority stake in OpenAI, Microsoft might have acquired the near entirety of OpenAI with some spare changes. Alea Sutskever posts 8.15 a.m. Monday morning. I deeply regret my participation in the board's actions. I never intended to harm OpenAI. I love everything we've built together, and I will do everything I can to reunite the company. Sam retweets with three heart emojis. Jan Laika, the other head of the super alignment team, tweeted that he worked through the weekend on the crisis and that the board should resign. There is talk that OpenAI might completely disintegrate as a result. Before we end, and moving into the speculation, do take this with a pinch of salt. People are questioning how someone like Adam D'Angelo, CEO of Quora, which is possibly facing existential risk, got onto the board. Quora also launched POE, a platform that is similar to the GPT store. It is strange that two weeks after the GPT store was announced, Sam Altman was booted from the company. This is definitely a developing story. I will be posting updates to this saga. I believe we are at the beginning of this saga, and there are many unanswered questions. If you want to stay up to date, click subscribe on my channel. I will be posting updates as it happens. This is AI My Lifestyle channel, and thank you for watching.